everybody, this is Jen for jbfishtails.com. Oh, what do I want to talk about today? Well, let's see. It's Valentine's Day weekend, right? That's exciting, right? Chocolates, flowers, all that good stuff. Woohoo! Not. <laughs> not this year for Jen. Um, I don't have a Valentine. And I'm not doing this video because I'm looking for a date. That would be kind of desperate. But I am doing this video because I think it's a relevant thing to talk about. Um, for those of you that don't know me personally, um, I've been dating the same man for about four and a half years. And we had a great relationship, awesome guy, and we broke up maybe about a month, month and a half ago. So this Valentine's Day, Jenny's flying solo. Um, but it leads me to something. Um, I was very fortunate enough, I was very fortunate to have met my boyfriend. We, we were kind of friends first. We got to know each other a little bit, and... It turned into something else. He never dated a trans woman before. Um, but where do we meet people? <laughs> Seriously, where do we meet people? It's, it's not easy, especially for those of us that are maybe more mature trans women. Um, it's not always an easy thing. Um, and I think, you know, there's a whole lot of guys that are attracted to women like us. I mean, we know this, anyone who, who's out there living the life. Um, but there's a stigma attached to that, and it's very difficult for the men that love us or fall in love with us, because not only do we go through the struggle and have to come out, but when a guy gets into a relationship with someone like us, all of a sudden, they have to go through a similar coming out. Um, the questions they get asked. Uh, I mean, I remember even just like when I came out at work, and everyone wanted to know about my boyfriend, and... You know, well, what is he? Is he gay? <laughs> um, you know, stupid questions like that. Like, first of all, why is that even their business? And secondly, why put a label on anybody? Love is love, right? So anyway, I think what would really help us as a community is if one of these days, um, either a rock star, a famous leading man actor, or, hey, an NFL quarterback would be cool, too. If one of those... Um, was dating a trans woman and went public with it and it was all over the place and, and he was proud to date someone like us. That's what we need. Um, you know, we, we've made a lot of strides within the last couple years. Time Magazine, Laverne Cox, um, Kate Jenner's coming out, um, television, and, it, it, and I, I see it firsthand. It's a different world as a trans woman now than it was even three years ago walking around Philly. So things have changed. Um, but it would be really nice if some of the fellas would step up. So guys, <laughs> if you're dating a trans woman, come on, show a little courage. I mean, I get it, you know, I get it. I get how hard that is, how difficult it is. And if you're dating someone for maybe a month, six months, okay, but four and a half years, come on now. <laughs> At some point, if you really love somebody and that person's worth it, you know, you got to show a little courage because it takes a whole hell of a lot of courage for us to have finally came out and live our lives authentically. So maybe you need a little bit of that courage yourself. So anyway, hopefully that didn't sound too preachy. And all you girls out there that are by yourself this um, Valentine's Day, hey, <laughs> it is what it is. Keep your chin up. Um, go out partying. Go out dancing. Have a great time. It's just a day. It's a hallmark holiday. And um, things will get better. So listen, thank you for tuning into my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, hit a like, all good stuff, and happy Valentine's Day, everyone.